Welcome, you guys. This is Tissin Drop. I'm going to be doing another campaign in Hoi for Kaiserreich. And I haven't actually decided on what country I'm going to take. Like, I'm tempted to do Commune of France, but it's, 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 uh, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe later. It's definitely something I want to do. Canada? I haven't done. I mean, I would be kind of interested to try that out. But the thing is, I started with my Sweden campaign, and it turned out that it wasn't finished. So, I really don't want to do these small, like, African countries, because it's just so boring. And you're surrounded by really powerful dudes. I'm going to take care of other countries here. So, good to Canada. Could do Mexico. Ah, they started syndicalists? I really don't like those guys. We could do Brazil. Mm hmm. I could actually do India. Uh, do I want to fight as the Entente or the Syndicalist or as this guy here? That's not the Princely Federation. Uh, I kind of do. Fuck it. Let's give it a shot, shall we? So we have objective of unifying India, and hopefully, I'm pretty sure they have a unique talent tree, a uh, national focus, not talent tree. So let's see what we get. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they have a unique one. Thank you, and major events. So let's see here. Oh, this is actually pretty good. Okay, preparing for the final struggle, traders in the north, syndicalists of the east, so I guess this is for the war, uh, and there's India United, uh -huh. fortify the northern and eastern border, that might be actually required, oh, why is it 105 days, because we're going to have to fight off the other Indian nations, so we got naval and air over here. And apparently you can't do this. You can't do this one without doing these two. Okay, this is the dockyards. So let's uh, take a look at here. We start out with normal political power. Backwards economy. Consumer goods factories, 20%. Production efficiency cap and factory output minus 20. Oh my god, how do I get rid of that? Decentralized rule. Division recovery rate plus, but national unity? Okay, we have to figure out how to get rid of this. I'm guessing it's one of these things. Uh, yeah. I... what? Replace rebellious princes with decentralized rule. Uh, hold free elections. Here we go. Remove national spirit, decentralized rule. Replace decentralized rule with father of the confederation. And we stay paternal autocrats. Here, we remove it. Align with Germany. Align with Russia. Align with Japan. Splendid isolation. Defense on core territory plus 20 wow we're gonna be really good at defending our core territories justify war gold time plus 50 so we're not gonna be justifying any conflicts there if we're not gonna be doing that how do we get some uh, CBs on people is it justice invade the commune a pact with the north uh, what happens here Nepal? Oh, we got a bunch of these down here. Ah. So I can go out Burmese territory. So we could go Splendid Isolation. I don't want to join any factions. I want to make my own. So, if I go down here, I can pick any of these three. And we have... Hmm... 
rejects the proposal reforms, putting princely federation into the path of autocracy. Uh, uh, Indian Empire. Ooh. So we could go like full. Uh, this. Uh, now let's go full M empire. Indian Empire. Oh yeah, I like that. Oh, we can't even start it. June of 1936. And here we have new construction methods. We get some... We need technology? We actually have to have the technology construction one. What the fuck? Okay. And here we have army experience. So, let's just take this. Because we can't do any of the other ones. Let's do this and... Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. Here and here. That's basic stuff. Let's take a look at our dudes. Oh. We gotta, we gotta change some stuff. You are, I'm guessing... Yeah. Support. So this is gonna be artillery. You just are normal horses and you have artillery as well. I'm gonna give you... The lightning bolt. We have no garrison troops, but we have the blueprint for it. Uh, I'm gonna go to this menu. So, wait, we have two cavalry? Really? That's it? And we have one of this. So we basically have 20 of these divisions and then a half assed like one, three, and one one of each of this. Really? Fuck. Um. You guys are just raw infantry. You guys have some artillery. What do these guys have? Just garrison units. I'm actually... I'm actually just going to change all of you guys into garrison. Yeah. That's it. You're going to be garrison units. I'm guessing that we start out with civilian economy, yeah. So, it's going to be infrastructure. Yay! Let's go up to four. Oh, God, no. Oh, wow, we have no building slots. We got three over here and two over here. So, let's go up to seven here. Why would I build infrastructure in a place that has no building slots? Damn. Resources. We, oh, we have rubber. But we have no steel. That is so bad. That is so bad. Um, I'm thinking I have four and two. So we're going to have like this. And then we import... 12 steel from the Germans because it cost us no convoys. And navy. We have no navy. We have no air force. Really, we have nothing. This tab is basically useless to us. And we have a vassal over here. Madras. I'm guessing they're going to rebel. This looks like a drawn picture. Yeah, it is. They couldn't find an actual portrait of this guy, so they just drew him? Okay. Whatever. So. I'm gonna blend you guys into this group. What we're gonna do is, you're gonna go here. Half of you are gonna go there. And I assume I have a field marshal. Yes, I do. Simple. And we unpause, and we put it on speed 4. And how is our infantry equipment? Oh, it's horrible. It is actually dreadful. Okay. Introduction to the Princely Federation. India finally achieved its de facto independence in the aftermath of the British Revolution of 1925 as the Raj finally collapsed in on itself. On itself. Rising to the mantle of governance was the Rajput, Rajput uh, Majahara of Bikaner. Ganga Singh, whose authoritarian style of governing the newly freed Indian Dominion soon put him at odds with the leftist civilian opposition cent centered around the Indian National Congress. 
and its military militant underground supporters. Within months, the ICN's denouncement of Singh's negotiated Anglo-Indian treaty brought the subcontinent to civil war. Okay, It was in this chaotic time that the southern princely states, citing the Anglo-Indian treaty and numerous legal transgressions of Ganga Sin as motivation, united behind Osman Ali Khan of Hyderabad, Hyderabad and declared him the true viceroy of the Indian dominion. As the civil war escalated into a confusing quagmire of violence, Ali Khan failed to invade Singh's northern power base, but succeeded in rooting out socialist enclaves, enclaves in Bombay and also prevented both the Delhi and Calcutta government from invading the Deccan Plateau. I'm guessing that we're in the Deccan Plateau. When peace finally came, the Princely Federation soon went about organizing a true nationalist successor government to the Raj, with Osman Ali Khan serving as administrator of the realm and his fellow princes serving in an advisory as well as legislatively role in the so-called Council of Princes. I need to get rid of that. That does not sound good. By 1936, the Princely Federation is a br brittle state. But nevertheless, the closest India has to a conservative native government. Okay. I'm not a fan of that. I don't like... I guess it's called the Princely Federation for a reason. But I don't like the idea of a council of princes. That's that's going to stab me in the back the first chance they get. Uh, there goes Kerensky. He is dead. So this is going to be quite bad. Let's see here. These guys are in the Entente with... 23, 25 troops. These guys are not in a faction, but they have like 22 troops. No planes, no ships. You have four ships. Okay, so they have the superior naval force with four ships. Okay, um, what is this? Portugal? Fuck off. Portugal. What is over here? There's no resources over there. Okay, so that's not so bad. These guys have steel and rubber. And I remember that Germany can sell this to me. There's a chance, there's a decision to sell Cylon to me. And if that happens, I'm going to take it. And maybe this one as well, the Maldives. Maldiven. There goes Black Monday. But I'm very interested to see what happens here. This is the Afghan war. And Jacobins elected in France. Who the fuck are they? Jacobins. Oh, they're totalists. There goes Afghanistan war. Yeah. It usually starts right at the start of the game. What is this? The Nizam Silver Jubilee. Today the glorious Osman Ali Khan... Administrator of the realm and yeah, 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 celebrates the 25th anniversary of his ascension to the throne of his ancestral princely state. The golden Asafia banner adorned the streets of Hyderabad, state's main cities, and the people revel in the excesses of public funds channeled into festivities. Already one of the richest and most industrialized states of the princely federation today. Hyderabad truly shines brightly as a model for the other princes to follow. Oh, thank you. Can I get out of civilian economy right away? Is that a thing? No, 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 no. You always start with civilian economy for like the first two years, right? Right? That's just Kaiserreich 101. So once this is done, I'm actually going to have to focus on taking construction one in order to get the next decision. Expanding Indian Air Force, okay. That's kind of useless. So you guys hate us. We have They have claimed our territory. I'm guessing it's the same. They have claimed our territory. Okay, so I can't take this until I do construction one. This one doesn't open until June. I don't want to do air or navy. Let's do army reforms and get some army experience. That way we can uh, pimp out some of our squads. Qing declared war on... Yeah, that thing. 
So I can scale down like the garrison squads to five, and I can scale you up by one. Maybe. Hmm. That would basically mean that I need more infantry equipment. Hmm. Maybe I should go for a lot of small divisions. Like, scale this down to 10 and just make a fuckload of them. Like, we're in India, what is our manpower policy? Just volunteer only. Really? Okay, that is done. There is still 90 days left on this, and 46 on the other one. Let's just do mechanical computing. Do I do that? Do I just have a bunch of 10 wide squads? Ooh. Looks like Austria interrupted the decision. And they have a king. And, well, they're independent. They're not a puppet, though. They're being guaranteed by them. So that's a white piece. Pussy, come on. You wipe them out. That always happens. I don't even know what the other options are. I don't think I've played as Britain in this campaign. Uh, in, this, in this mod. And I also think I've said that before. So, give me 100 PP. Please. So I can get out of this. I need this to go up to 5. I just, if I can get this as soon as I possibly can, I would be so happy. I can actually start building factories. Even with a 10%, that's not, like, the difference between 30% and 10% is fucking huge. Oh, army reforms. So it's 12th of May. Can I do this one? No. Okay. I guess I'm going to have to choose between all of these things. Command of the armies must be taken out of the hands of the princes and centralized in a small group of commanders. This is the only efficient way, though it will take time to make the princes realize it. Planning speed plus 10. Division organization plus 5. Division training time minus 5. Working with the princes to make their co common command of the army more efficient. But still respecting their rights is the best way to keep morale high. Uh, so this gives me national unity and political power gain and division recovery rate. No, I want this one. Organization. Planning speed. Like, the recovery is nice. The national unity is meh. Political power is really, really low. No, give me this. Fuck the princes. We don't trust them. Basic. Oh, we have to take... Oh, we're doing construction. Never mind. So once this is done, we can do the other ones. But I think I'm going to be doing this one. To get that 100 PP. And then we're going to do here. All the way to... Yeah. The Indian Empire. What happened in Siam? Yeah, it's the, yeah okay. Revolution. Okay, come on. This is so slow. This is so slow. Get me to a hundred, please. We're at five. Don't drop. Don't drop below five. I'm begging you. Let me get to a hundred, and then you can do whatever you want. Okay. Come on. We're almost there. I can't see the decimal places right now. Come on. We're still at 5. And 100. Pause. Oh, we dropped it down to 4. <laughs> Fuck, I think I hit the mic there. Sorry. Come on. Somebody do something. God damn it. Why does it decay like that? I hate that. Give me my 5%. Okay, construction is done. We're gonna do weapons. Somebody give me something. Somebody, I don't know, do a drive-by over somebody's borders. 
Just do something, I'm begging you. Get this above five. Uh, fine. But something's gonna happen, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna lose all my PP. Just wait, wait and see. Something's gonna bad is gonna happen, and I'm gonna lose my PP. And there we go. Centralize the army, and there we go. Osman addresses the council. Thank you. And I'm also going to change you guys to 5. And I'm just going to scale you down to 10. And make a fuckload of you. So, what happened to our infantry equipment? Oh, we got reserves. Nice, we can start training. Okay. I'm thinking we just do 5 continuously. Poland elects a new king, okay. And I'm gonna do five of you. Like, uh, ten. I'm gonna do like this. Mm hmm. We do want some of these garrison troops. But maybe I should just get ten. So I already have six. So let's just get ten. Okay. Come on, go back up to five. Somebody do something, please. I'm begging you. Mm, Hashemite expansionism? Uh -huh. Well, looks like it's not going to happen. Is this the... Yeah, centralized command. Division training time. Ooh. We can send them out quickly. So our squads are now very small. They are just 10 wide. But that's fine. Okay, so we've beefed up Bombay. And I'm gonna make military factories. We still get a small penalty. Because... Oh fuck, we're not out of civilian economy yet. Fuck. I guess we can do Mysore. Up to 7 as well. But I need that... I need to get rid of civilian economy. Right now. It's like getting out of civilian economy in the first year appears to be just... We were so close, but it, it seems like it's impossible. Mongol Empire. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Mongols. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. So let's, let's actually build these factories in Bombay. We get a 10%... Uh, construction speed penalty, but that's fine. Once we finish our national focus, we might be able to go even higher. Is it 15 or is it 25 for partial? 15, okay. If we can go to partial, oh, that would be nice. That would be so nice. If this uh, American Civil War can start... Uh, oh. The Council of Princes. Today, uh, the Nizam of Hi Hyderabad, Osman Ali Khan, met with the Council of Princes as they presented to him what they believed to be a fair and just package of reforms. Namely, that the power of the Council would be consolidated into a national divan, elected from among their number, and that this divan would assume a primary responsibility for restoring rule over the remainder of India. So far, it is uncertain whether Nizam will accept these proposals, or whether he would look on them as an erosion of his own personal authority. There are many, after all, who believe the Nizam himself should act as Divan, and others who say that the position should be subject to national elections, as should the position on the council itself. Now, refuse. Oh, so that's why I have seen events happen in the Princely Federation where a bunch of these nations rise up, and I'm guessing that's what's going to happen if I say no to them. So let's say no to them. We are going to have a lot of troops, hopefully soon. Uh, Rangoon University has some riots, that's fine. Okay. You guys need to... Come on. Finish this. But you're just going to start the next ones. You're never going to do the garrison ones. 
Maybe if I do... Uh, I'll let these finish. I know, I know. And I'm going to put you guys on priority. Okay. So, I got five more dudes. I'm going to put you all over here. Okay, let's... F so this requires 500. And this requires 500. Okay. Considering with his 25th birthday, the young Majahara of... Whatever. What the fuck? Has today proclaimed an edict facilitating the end of the ban on low caste Hindus, also known as Avarnas, entering the state's many temples. The edict and its author have been hailed by progressives throughout the southernmost princely state and a great deal of others for the humane and magnanimous magnanimous magna animus I have no idea how to say that act of lifting the deprived and struggling towards greater self-esteem and communal respect however a great deal of the more conservative Hindu landlords and nawabs throughout the federation are disgruntled at this sudden leap of mod modernity. Mod modern in it. I, I really struggle with this, guys. I'm really sorry about this. I suppose you could just read this for yourself, but I like to read it out loud for myself as well. Fearing their control over the less fortunate might slip away amid such edicts of equality. For now, though, the legal changes remain confined to the princely state of that thing. Oh, look at that. 190 political power. So this one increases construction speed by 10. So that counteracts the minus 10 here. So we're at flat right now. If we get this, it will go up to 20 construction speed. <gasps> there we go. That should rise world tension. Come on. American Civil War to start. And that is done. It is 1936. We're going to finish this one. These are both going to finish at the same time. Okay. Um, let's get recon. And I'm thinking grand battle plan, maybe. I take that so many times. Let's actually take a look here. Um, so... Um, Mobility focus. Ah, uh, this is... Oh, I should have checked this out. Motorworks. This does not say anything about doctrine. So I can still take whatever doctrine I want. Oh, this is more armor. Uh, armor technology, armor technology. Motorized. Modify central command by... Okay. Oh, I need to have 300,000 manpower. In the field. So I'm halfway there. Uh, but I can take whatever I want. But I kind of want to go... Like, modern warfare now. I haven't gone that route for a while. So we're going to get some stuff for our uh, non-tanks. But I'm going to put the doctrine on hold. Let's just take radio. Right? Oh, I'm going to upgrade our infantry equipment. Uh, okay. Second American Civil War. So as soon as this is done, we're going to get some PP, right? No. Uh, okay. I need another 100 PP so I can change this. Please. P pretty please. Uh, refuse the reforms and then the de dissolve. Ooh. He becomes paternal autocrats. Ooh, nice. Osman refuses the council proposals. The rulers... Ah, come on, go away. The rulers on the Council of Princes were clearly disappointed as the Nizam of Hyderabad rejected outright their proposals to reform the council. During his speech, he outlined 
the consistent failures of the princes to work together and that a central authority was clearly needed if the Federation is to fight against the forces of colonialism and socialism, even if this meant replacing the council itself. More than one prince left this meeting, swearing that if the council is indeed disbanded, it would mean civil war. Oh no! Shit. Let's, uh, let's dissolve the council. Fuck him. Uh, my national unity is very bad, so let's uh, let's move away from this and 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 let's do a fallback line like like this. No, 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 no. I want to defend my. Uh... There we go. Defend my victory points. <laughs> Hyderabad. I don't want to lose that. Definitely not. It looks horrible like this. And my unit models are just shadows. Okay, let's not zoom in then. Okay, so the garrison units are getting finished, one by one. Okay. So I took them off reinforcing because we just got upgrades. And we're putting all of our weapons into you. Because I just want to finish you. And we're at negative 48 right now. Oh yeah, Rebellious Princess is hurting us a lot. Point, uh, 0 0.3. That is really bad. A point National Divan. Uh, change in popularity of Paternal Autocrats, plus 30. Paternal Autocrats, 30. Oh, that's good. Syndicalist Takeover in the Netherlands. That happened in last game. It made the Germans just so easy to, to defeat. Amsterdam joined, yeah, they joined the commune. But the British have not. Weird. Um, okay, we have a factory available. Let's make more guns. So if I were to edit you, I don't have army experience. Okay. So I'm kind of scared of a civil war because our national unity is very low. Hopefully we get some event that boosts this up. If we're going to have a civil war, if we lose Hyderabad, we actually just game over. As I recall, like the northern uh, the southern part of the country goes like rogue. If I'm wrong, that's not good. Oh, the Council of Princes is dissolved, coming as no surprise to many after the Nizam refused the Council's last-ditch offer to reform. Nizam Osman Ali Khan today ordered the Council of Princes dissolve. All authority now reset, reset, all authority now rests in the Nizam's hand, and there are rumors that several princes rode south to raise arms in rebellion. So they rode south. Okay, if so, no war has yet to broke yet broken out, though some believe it is only a matter of time. Uh, no! That's more PP penalty. Appoint National Divan. Let's just do that. And, let's actually pause here. So, we just started this campaign. We are, we have no navy, we have no air force, we have a very bare-boned army. This is gonna be kinda difficult, I imagine. We do have a, a lot of manpower. And we have the potentiality for a lot of resources if we take out one of our neighbors. I'm guessing it's going to have to be the Bratia Commune because these guys are part of the Entente. And they are preparing for the final struggle. Really? Can I do that? Yes, I can. So if I do this and then I fortify the border. Yeah, but I want to... I want to fix my uh, stuff down here first. But yeah, whatever. So... I'll see you guys in the next episode, but until then, see ya.